There's almost half your life, my guy. Oh, that actually is half your life. Look at that. What is up, everybody? This is Super Beast GN. Today, I am playing uh, a deck that I've been waiting to play uh, until I've gotten the uh, the the mythic wild cards uh, because I didn't have any Calyxes. But we are playing Celestia Enchantments. This deck is freaking amazing. You've probably seen it before, but we're going to have some fun with it here today. Um, if you, In case you don't know it, we're going to explain the deck right now. Basically, Calyx is a brute. <laughs> He's, oh my God, this card is so good. So basically it says whenever Calyx guided by fate or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target tr creature. And that's great. That's just, you know, like that's generous visitor and commie of transients. Like they, they, it kind of has like a similar effect, but then it says whenever Calyx or an enchanted creature, you control deals combat damage to a player. You may create a token. That's a copy of a non legendary enchantment. You control do this only once each turn. Well, that's all we need to do it each turn because that is a very, very powerful effect. So with that, it says enchanted creature has to do combat damage and, or hit or Calyx. So we want other creatures to be able to get through too. So we have audacity that gives trample. So it's all, you know, you're always going to get in for some, some combat damage. It also is an enchantment itself. So when the creature that attacks does damage, if Calyx is on the field, you can make a copy of audacity. That is amazing. Uh, we also have genitor, uh, gen generous genitor? generous visitor, which puts a 1-1 one, one counter on uh, a target creature whenever you cast an enchantment spell, which is nice. Great for those uh, those uh, counter matchups where they're you know they're countering everything you do, but you're still getting value because you're still casting the card. Awesome. Also, it makes everything super strong. Uh, we have Michiko's Reign of Truth because, man, we're going to try to get in for some one-turn kills, you know, uh, with all the enchantments in here. Ossification for uh, removal. Uh, it, it's removal that also triggers Calyx and Generous Visitor uh, and the Kami of Transients. And the Kami of Transients itself also has Trample. So if it is enchanted, um, well, I guess it doesn't matter because it's got Trample either way. But yeah, um, we're going to get in for big, big numbers. We have two Weaver of Harmonies. Um, other enchantment creatures you control get plus one, plus one. That's pretty good. Um, that plus one, plus one is almost negligible because... You know, we're going to be building up our creatures so much that that's not even why it's here. But we also can play, uh, pay a green and tap it to copy a target activated or triggered ability f that we control from an enchantment source. So we can put we can get Michigan's Reign of Truth twice. Uh, I think we can even get double counters from Calyx. Uh, I mean, just anything that triggers or activates, we can just do. We can get double uh, activation from Touch the Spirit Realm, uh, in which we only have two two of, uh, or Ossification, which does the same thing. I mean, we... Uh, the Touch of Spirit Realm is actually in here more because uh, it's for protection. We can use uh, the channel to protect our Calyx if we need to. Um, we also have a Restoration of Iganjo to hit those lands. Uh, we probably won't need that many lands because everything is so small. Like we, I think three. Yeah, three is our top, our top of the curve. So um, yeah, we're just we don't really need that many lands. But it is nice that, that since everything's so low, that Chapter Two uh, could really come in handy can uh, copy, uh, or we can get back a uh, Spirited Companion, Kami of Transient. And, and basically, anything in these two rows, we can get back with the uh, Restoration of Iganjo. And that's a lot of things. Um, our land base is very simple. We have 14 basic lands. We have Boseju. We have Iganjo. Uh, it's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We have 22 lands all together. I think we actually could have just looked here. 22 lands. Yep, there it is. Um, because of our, our curve is so low, and once we hit three lands we're basically good we uh, admittedly though we want four lands we would love four lands but if jukai naturalist is on the field it makes all our enchantments cost one less so um th we could we could work on three and with that being said we also have three brush lands in there and i don't like playing pain lands but we have life gain in here between katilda um who whose power and toughness is equal to the number of spirits and or enchantments you control which is nice um that's got lifelink uh flying protection from vampire so it's not going to get hit by uh by a blood tithe harvester um and we also have the juke naturalist which when we put counters on stuff we're going to put it on this thing usually um because we get all that life back and then people are racing us with the life uh, total mono red scoops uh mono green scoops i mean we're, we're just yeah we're just racing them we don't care about blocking at that point because now we're going to be hitting in for like 8 to 10 uh, damage. And even if they block, we're just gaining life. We're still getting value off of it. Uh, and yeah, that's that's uh, that's basically the deck. Uh, I think I went over everything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're just going to try to copy a bunch of stuff with Calyx and uh, just beat people down 
like crazy. Let's get into the games and see how it works. One land. Wow, Mulligan. Oh, Mulligan. Yeah, I mean, what is it? I go first. Reign of Truth can go back. One Spirited Companion can go back. Doesn't matter. It's, oh, it's gonna get burned. Doesn't matter. Skrelv, though. Okay, maybe it's just Legends. Should have played the Visitor first, but no, now we can play the Visitor and a Companion. If he doesn't play with fire, this thing. He probably will play with fire it. P and Nalar. Ooh. Okay. I can actually go. Generous Visitor. Into Ossification. Good thing I had that. Yeah. Oop. We get the Jukai Naturalist high enough, they're not going to be able to burn it out. Drawing. Nothing. What can she do? Whenever you play a land from exile. Okay. So this is going to be a Rocco deck, I think. Pretty sure this is a Rocco deck. Because Rocco likes to play PNLR. I believe, right? Yep. There's Rocco on cue. Yeah, uh, I think we just touched the Spirit Realm, that. Um, let's see. Go on to the naturalist. He gets a counter, right? Or a food. Puts the counter on that. Yeah, little does he know. Um. Three and two. We're going to just touch the spirit realm, the Rocco, next turn. They could wipe the field. That would kill their own Rocco and their own PNLR. Hajar. Hajar don't give a crap about trample, though. It's at the end of their turn. The beginning of your end step. Yep, each player. Okie doke. Um. Let's just put all the counters on Jukai Naturalist. Yeah, that's that's how we do it. Trample, baby! This is uh that's pretty good. So I haven't seen an Invoke Despair or a Fable of the Mirror Breaker all day and a Reckoning Bank Buster, and it's so great. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get so used to not seeing them that when I go play like Explorer, I'm just gonna be like, well, oh wait, there it is. <laughs> Um, sure. And sure. And sure. I know I probably should have played that when Kallax is on the field, but I can play Kallax next turn and then get in for damage and then make a copy of Audacity and put it on Kallax. You gotta spread out the... Yeah, he's gonna... He's gonna play with Fire it. Sure. Or Lightning Strike. Okay, he doesn't have a play with Fire, otherwise he would've used it. Now we know. Um, and now we have another Calyx, so that's cool. And I like it's when it, uh, it's when he enters the battlefield that you put a counter on something, and not when you cast something. It gives him uh, value turn one, you know. Lightning strike! Ooh, and talk about li he can't resist attacking, right? What do you got? Strangle? If he has a strangle, this is gonna be. I'm gonna say this is so rigged. And he gets. Yep, that's right. <laughs> this is really bad. But we have the restoration of Iganjo. That's kind of cool. We have ossifications. I think we just keep it. Of course, it's reds because we have no turn one or two or turn one play. We can ossificate, and if they're mono red, I don't think they can deal with any of this. Phoenix chick. They had. Okay, we go like this. Let's take some damage off of our face. They go first. We have no good turn one play, but we got a turn one play. Bloodthirsty. All right. 
No blocks. I am becoming the aggro. Oh, and in one turn, you're lower than I am. I mean, a lightning strike to it would be would be really good. If he doesn't have it, though, he gets out of the range, and then we just win. But I, they, they, it's almost guaranteed that they have it, right? Monastery Swift Spear, sure. Reckless Impulse, sure. All right. He would have played the... Uh, okay. Okay, uh, not playing the brush land. Put the counter here. Let's get rid of... The one that can potentially get bigger. And then let's attack. And next turn, we, uh, we do it all again. They didn't have it before to kill the creature. Um, any like burn spells. Maybe they drew into it, but one is not going to be enough unless you have that one that does like four damage. Sure. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That is not enough. I think we just beat mono red, which is most amazing actually. Yeah, that's, that's game buddy. This deck seems to be really good against Mono Red, so let's conjure up some more Mono Reds. Mono Red will never ever beat this deck. Uh, restoration can go. I think we have a nice little curve here. Yeah, this is really, really good against Mono Red. Hey, Mono Red. Are you Mono Red? You look like you're Mono Red. <gasps> Liar. Liar. <clears throat> We go Kami of Transients into Calyx. Alright, it's going to get cut down. Or go for the throat. Cut down, sure. Alright, but the, the thing is, we get it back. Unless it, he plays a Trespasser this turn, which he'll play a Trespasser. Oh, wow. Cut down? Do you have another one? It's okay. It's okay if you do. All right, yeah, play all your cutdowns. Take action, yeah. Hell yeah. What good is removal spells if you can't fully remove? Each opponent discards two cards. That's fine. And <laughs> we just get one back. All right, now you can't cut this down, but go for the throat is incoming. Shouldred's Edict. Oh, Shouldred herself. Wow. Take action. Let's go, baby. Ooh. Sorry about your damn luck. Let's go. Two cards in hand. Drew, just drew one. What'd you got? What? <clears throat> oh, I should have saved that. Well, no, this is not as scary to me. All right, let's go. What's this turn into? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Discard two cards. Okay. I only have one, so that was not very... Well, he's going to attack one, right? Yeah. But that's okay, because if I draw into something good, that's not a land, which I probably will draw a land, though. An ossification was, would also be amazing. Restoration of Igonjo also works. Let's go! <clears throat> I don't know if they're going to have... Well, they might. Five. One goes to there. Two goes to here. I, I, I get... Really, dude? Really? And not a single board wipe. Really? 
Wow. Yeah. Just had it. All the removal. See, I don't think the problem ever was Invoke Despair as a removal spell. I think Invoke Despair is great. Black needed a way to get rid of enchantments. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good card. I think the problem is, in this game in particular, there's a habit of, like, one person always get... And, and I'll, I'll fully understand that, like, sometimes it happens to me where I where I get what, exactly what I need. Um, crap, what do I do here? I guess Jukai Naturalist? Yeah. Um, one person always gets what they need and the other person gets screwed. Like, like they'll get, like... Like, oh, I, I, have, I need one card to get this, and it'll be a land, you know? I'll need one card to come back, and it's, it's, a, it's just a land. Like, there was no chance of ever, ever, ever coming back. So you should have saved that unless you have two. Um... Even it out, so it makes it harder for them. Both of these things are pretty dangerous on their own. Borrowed time. Calyx, of course. Um, I can Blossoming Sands. I can Audacity. There we go. Draw a card. There's another Calyx. Very good. You're at eight. Now another Borrowed Time comes into play. Or another Ossification, one of those. Spirited Companion, okay, so it's not going to be... Any, well, unless they get another... Well, they would have played that first, right? But I think they want to see what they get. And... Is that game? Give it to the one with the... Uh... Yeah, I mean... Eight. If they double block, I don't kill them this turn, so I'm just gonna give a little little love there. Oh, I guess I could have killed them if I would have attacked with a spirited companion. Yeah, they're gonna get rid of the thing. They're gonna yeah, I think yeah, they would have lost. I I misplayed. That's okay. That's okay, because one damage will do it, but Uh, take action. Oh, where, where am I attaching audacity? So even if they do board wipe now. We still get to draw two cards, which is amazing. And they scoop. Maximum scoopage. That's a mulligan. We're playing again. Oh, we're not playing against mono red. Um, we can get rid of one of the generous visitors. If we were playing against mono red, we'd be going second. As a matter of fact, we're playing against black, and they're going to oh blue. <laughs> well, um. Fading Hope. Yeah, they're going to Fading Hope. 100%. Yeah. I should have... I, I should have known. And I should have played the other Generous Visitor. But they were going to Fading Hope either way. Let's go ahead and... They can't counter touch the Spirit Realm if we channel it, right? I'll take some damage. Blue doesn't really do damage. They'll either counter everything we have or... end up uh, milling us, so...
Yeah, this is just going to be... It's, this is one of those boring decks. They're playing um, probably a Jin deck. So, what do we do here? Let's let's play this out. They're going to counter it, right? But the two things are already on the field. So we can just play them, and even if they counter it, we still get the counters. Yeah, go ahead. Counter it. And then here comes Fading Hope. Yep, because they just have it. They're just always going to have it. And then, oh, let me guess a second Fading Hope now. Go ahead and counter it. They're going to try. They probably have Devious Cover Up, right? No? Play all the counters on that one because this is the one that's attacking this turn. Um, the one that's attacking is going to get Fading Hope, probably. They're going to counter it, right? Yeah. We successfully played around their uh, their make disappear, so they have to use... Well, they only probably had one. Oh, that's okay. Spread the love. Make disappear, sure. Fading hope. Do you have another one? They're trying to find it. I I really hate playing decks like this. It's so boring. It's, how, how do you enjoy playing that? Like, I don't understand how you enjoy playing mono blue tempo. Like, just countering everything. Like, do you just really not want to play the game? Valerian Terror, sure. Hmm. It's Ward 2. Let's try. It's gonna, he's going to counter it, but we still get the counters. Yep, that's fine. And another Fading Hope. Honestly, Fading Hope is like the only thing that can save them here. Also, me not getting a land is another thing that can save them. Because if we... We can double... We can double spell if we get a freaking land. Like, I don't know why they're not giving us a fourth land. Like, after all these turns. I mean, come on. We have lands in here. Send everything back to your hand. All the work you've done. There we go. Well. Auto pay. Here comes a counter, right? Because they looked at their hand, but they didn't do anything yet. So now they'll counter, they'll counter it. Syncopate, sure. For three, resolve. I like it. And then um, we're going to go ahead and... Just play ossification. Wait a minute. He can't do that. I have word too. I know. I mean, sir, you have to block. Oh no, it's countered. Let's go. Seven and a six. You gotta block, baby. Okay. Consider. He's looking. Let's go. 
Attack in, baby. Fading hope. Sure. That's three of them. Does he have a counter for this? All right, let's go. Let's go. What you got, son? Another Telerian Terror. Nice. But I think I can take care of that, right? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't have anything left. That makes me happy. Ooh, no. Or do we? No, because we can't play the Generous Visitor. That's better, I think. Um, I think we get rid of one Michiko's Reign of Truth, right? Or, well, yeah, I think it's... Mm. Yeah, because we're not going to play it on turn two. We don't want to. Uh, I think, yeah, one Michiko's Reign of Truth, we keep everything else. Maybe we draw into a land. Calyx is here. Calyx is probably going to get destroyed or countered. That's just the format, man. That's just that's just standard format. Anything you throw down to the fa uh, field, either is going to get uh, go for the throw, cut down, fading hope. It's going to get countered before it even hits. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, and that makes sense. But like, how is it that like one person always has the upper hand with that? You know, it's like it's like my opponent always has the upper hand. Even well, the last match, uh, we were able to fight through it. Even if they ha they had three Telerian terrors, and uh, man, I, I I don't know. I mean, it was just. It felt good beating blue because I, I really hate running everything into a into a counter spell. It's it's really irritating. Like blue is my least favorite. Like when I play blue, I don't normally play all counter spells. I usually play like it's draw spells and stuff like that. I'm trying to draw, you know? Or mill. Uh and mill's not that bad now. Mill's actually really good in standard right now because of uh because of Jace. And uh was that the Treesian mind break? Um, maybe pick your oh. <laughs> No, I feel stupid, don't I? Oh, I thought I was waiting for him. I, I, I thought I was still waiting for him to mulligan. My bad. I'm dumb. Well, what do we got? Uh, Green. I was like, why are you saying hello? Don't you have to... Okay. Um. This is going to get destroyed for sure. Let's go. Generous visitor! About to die. Graveyard Trespasser. Combat Thresher. I think we get greedy, right? Well, not really greedy. It's just smart. Because even if he blocks, he still loses his creature. Board wipe! I don't know why they would do that early, but... It is what it is. Touch the spirit realm. Get rid of the Calyx. For sure. You can't cut down the visitor. Because he is beyond cutting down. Let's do this and let's get rid of... Oop. I like how it asks you because I would definitely give him a counter by accident. And let's go. Alright, four man up. This is going to be a, probably a board wipe. Or something to kill us. So he's he's got to have a go for the throat. Or Fateful Absence. Or or another Touch the Spirit Realm. Is this Black White Enchantment? Oh, hey! There you go. Opponent goes first. This is a trap, right? <laughs> Jukai Naturalist on turn two. It gets destroyed. Then we have nothing for Michiko's Reign of Truth. Or we just get another Jukai Naturalist. And that's awesome. Oh! Oh! Two 
Too bad we he's gonna ossificate it right now, right? Right, right, right? That makes the most sense. Yeah. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hit, right? Blossoming sands into Kami, right? And then next turn, we overgrown farmland into Jukai Naturalist into Michiko's Reign of Truth on the Kami. All right. That's actually really good for us. Yeah, I will take it. Actually. Oh my god. I think, did we just win here? Hold on. Hold on. Just by playing these, he might give up. There's almost half your life, my guy. Oh, that actually is half your life. Look at that. So he either gets rid of the Kami and he doesn't die next turn, or he gets rid of the Jukai, Jukai Naturalist. Seal from existence. Okay. What are you going to hit? Okay, that makes sense. Go, let's go. Um, let's do that so we can block something. And let's get rid of that. There we go. Into attacking and getting some of our life back. I know, um They stay alive. But we do get a bunch of life. I'm okay with that. All right, now what? I've got two creatures coming in that's going to be crazy. Well, they're not going to be crazy, but... <gasps> Calyx, no! Puts it on itself. That is so weird, man. Um... Put it here. Also put that there. And attack in. He can kill it. For sure. But I have nothing in my hand. So now the Jukai Naturalist really isn't doing much. <clears throat> and any... Ooh. That's not, that's not a, an enchantment there, buddy. So you don't get the Calyx. Uh, I will double block the Calyx. I don't. I don't care. Um. Let's see. Have to block. Ooh, he's keeping the Calyx. I think we're good. Um, he would have blocked with the Calyx if he had a um, if he had a board wipe. I don't think. Well, this is pretty much the same deck that I'm using right now, and we're not playing board wipes because of this reason. We don't want to kill our own creatures. But I think we're good. Seal from existence. Okay. What are you taking? If he takes the Jukai Naturalist, he depowers the. <gasps> Wait. Insane. Okay. <clears throat> now what? Do you have an audacity? You don't. But I do. Yeah. That's it. Audacity is just, like, such a broken card. Uh, if you can get Calyx to stick, audacity is insane. But the problem is, in this format, you put down Calyx and he's definitely getting destroyed. <laughs> Most times. And if they don't destroy them, if they, if they don't destroy Calyx, like immediately you're basically going to win that's just the way it is usually i mean it's not guaranteed but it feels guaranteed hello all of my spirited companions are here that's dope what do you got black or uh, white blue green all right what do you got what do you got what do you got
<clears throat> Armored Scrap Gorger. Sweet. I'm going to take that Armored Scrap Gorger from you. Spell Pierce. <gasps> How, who plays a Spell Pierce in this, col in this color combination? Oh, this has got to be a forced loss on my part. Five mana. So he needs he needs that ramp. Reservoir Kraken. Oh, I don't care about that. Uh, decline. I'm going to decline every time. Just so you know. Okay, Calyx. Should have uh, kept a mana up. And now we have Trample. Um, I'm actually going to submit. Because now I don't lose my Jukai Naturalist. What? And we got Trample. Let's go. I'm okay with having an unblockable creature out because... Yeah, baby. Take action. Choose a non-legendary enchantment. Ooh. Ooh. What? There we go. Patch Audacity. Boom. And then... We put the counter on that. So, I, the reason I do this is because if he's going to get rid of uh, Calyx, he's going to get rid of Calyx. Uh, only in red would I put the counters on Calyx. And then... Do we tap Calyx? Maybe. Fight rigging! I'm okay with that. Took him a while, so it might not be something great. Although I'm kind of wondering if there's going to be some kind of punishment here. Oh. From your hand. Well, he doesn't have very many cards in his hand. Look at the top seven cards. We're maybe a little... In your hand. Okay. I think we're good. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna tap, anyways. Um, I'm fine with that. Cause guess what? We about to get some more stuff. This is gonna be good. Oof, oof. I should have played or made another Jukai naturalist. All right, and now. We start spreading the wealth. Put the counter there so he doesn't die. Like right away. Um, I don't even care about the Kamiya transients right now. Put it on that. I'm okay with that. And then... Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I can attack with Calyx. Let's go. He's losing everything if he blocks. I think you're still dead, dude.
Oh! You know what? I'm okay with that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, man. <laughs> it was not good for him. Ooh! A little bit of a rank up. With Selesnia enchantments. Opponent goes first. I guess we're going to keep it. We don't have a turn one play, but we do have a Blossoming Sand, so that's good. We can play that first. Uh, it's green. Alright, it's enchantments. I think we're golden. Maybe. I, I, I say that, but I'm probably not. <gasps> not audacity. Sure. All right, what do I want to play? Calyx. Into audacity. And then we are going to... Take action. And there we go. We got two Jukai Naturals now. And even if they kill the first one, we draw a card and we still have another one. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, you can hit me. I'm about to gain all that life, baby. Um, let's see. Yeah, that was, e that was an easy turn four win. You go first. We've got Calyx. We've got Companion. Uh, I think we're okay. We go brush land into spirit and companion. Draw that card. Hopefully it's a land. Into Calyx. Into Calyx dying. We scoop. Sounds right. <gasps> oh no. We did get the land. But it's a pain land. Oh. Zejuka Naturalist. Is very good. Do we play the naturalist though? Ambitious farmhand. We could. I'm almost guaranteeing they have an ossification for this. They will block, right? You blocking? Oh, please don't block. Because if you if you don't block, I get another spirited companion. Oh no, I don't. Never mind. It has to be it has to be enchanted. It's Calyx that has to attack alone. Or uh if Calyx does damage, not a creature. So yeah, go ahead and block. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Now if we put the audacity on uh on spirited companion, then we get to copy some stuff. But then we have a difficult decision of whether or not to uh create another spirited companion or an audacity. Not gonna matter because we're gonna get ossified anyways, but uh, it's nice to think about sometimes, right? I mean, we can Jukai Naturalist into Michiko's Reign of Truth. So there is that. So Ossification or some kind of removal is going to hit Calyx right now. Um, or or it just doesn't. Or it could be Lay Down Arms. Yeah, Lay Down Arms is coming. Um. Put it on that. Audacity goes on that. Spreading the wealth. We'll only block one. It's going to block the Calyx, probably, because that makes the most sense. Gets rid of the most damage. What can you do for one? Okay. Well, that's weird, but okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, t so it's white, so there's probably going to be a depopulate. So we're going to take action, and we're going to put it another, um, yeah. We're going to put another Audacity on the uh, Jukai Naturalist. This way, when they wipe the board, we draw two cards. I'm okay with that. We have another Calyx anyways. Here comes the depopulate. Nope, that's a laydown arms. Cool. We still get the card, though. That's awesome. And it's a land. I mean, it works. 
Another uh, late on arms. Oh, ossification. Nice. On the Calyx. Oh, dude, what? Okay. They have nothing open. I mean, one mana, but I don't think they can do anything. And then, do we just make another... Yeah. Yeah, we just keep making them, I guess, right? <laughs> you just keep copying the Michiko's Reign of Truth. You just keep doing it. I mean, it won't transform, but you can just keep powering up everything. Ooh, sir! What are you doing? Exile. Yeah. That makes the most sense. Um, I think that's game. We play this. We put the counter here. We play the ossification. We put another counter there. Uh... Target creature. Yeah. that's That just got out of hand. This is a an amazing deck. I, I, if you like the idea of enchantments, I do suggest you make this deck. Um, and it's a pretty cheap deck as most of these... Like, I don't think there's any other... The only mythics in here are the Calyxes. And everything else is... We got... Oh, even the Jukai Naturalist is, a, is an uncommon. Um, we have... Uh, yeah, we have three commies of transients. Uh, so three rares, two rares, five rares... Um, yeah, that's even an uncommon. Looks like we just have five, six, like seven, eight rares in here, and that's it. And then, I mean, obviously the Iganjo and Boseju are, are kind of, uh, eh, they're, they're optional, but they're nice to have just in case, you know, Iganjo's really good. Um, but that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Really, really helps out the channel. And we will see you next time. Peace out, everybody. Have a amazing day.